The Radio Memories Network is brought to you in part by Liberated Syndication. Podcast publishing made easy. Libsyn.com. That's L-I-B-S-Y-N dot com. Superheroes are those fictional characters noted for their feats of courage and nobility and who possess abilities beyond those of mere common man. They have inspired us since their debut in 1938 and have kept us in suspense with epic adventures. Join us as we go back to the early days of radio and our imaginations. Now to this week's action adventure of superheroes. Now join us for another exciting episode of Planet Man. The Planet Man! This is the fascinating story of Dan Troll, the Planet Man, troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization, the law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world, whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Dantro the Planet Man fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. Marston has surprised the planet man, Pat, Slats, and what he believes to be Professor Darrow in the tunnel under his palace. They had just used the ancient machine they found there to transport Marston's entire fleet to a remote planet and end his threat to solar peace. Now, however, things look very bad. As we find them, Marston is gloating over his luck in catching them all and also in finding the machine. But he is unaware that Professor Darrow is really not there. What he really sees is only a three-dimensional image projected by the machine. Yes, Planet Man, I will save you for last. You can watch me take care of your friends one by one, then it will be your turn to pay the penalty for opposing the will of Marston. With you taken care of, I shall use this machine you have so kindly discovered to teach the League of Planets a lesson. First, I shall send Planaria Rex into the sun, then the other planets one by one will feel the weight of my power. Yes, Fever. It is just you and I against the solar system. But with this machine, we shall win. We must do something to prevent his getting this machine. It's more dangerous than his fleet, and there can be no defense against Stop it. Stop whispering. What does it matter? You are all going to die. I think I've waited long enough. Who will be first? Even you couldn't be low enough to shoot us down without a chance. Quiet. I need no lessons from you, Professor. Be quiet, or you will be the first. Marston still doesn't know that that's only an image of my father he's talking to. I hope Professor Darrow acts. He's our only chance. Marston, you don't really think we're afraid of you? I know you're afraid of me. You are not fools, and no sane man wants to die. I'll show you. Don't come near me. I'll shoot. Shoot, then. I warned you. Look, the ray went right through him. It hit the machine. Look out. <laughs> Is everyone all right? Dentro, where are you going? Left the mast, and he went down into the tunnel. Well, be careful, he's on. I have the ray gun. I took it from the guard. We'll wait here for you. Gosh, he's a brave man. I'd hate to go down there in the dark after that maniac. I wish there were some way we could help him. Oh, I'm not really worried. I think he can outsmart or out Ray Marston any day in the week. Well, I hope you're right. Hey, we forgot to check the machine. Not much left to check, I'm afraid. Just look at it. Maybe it can be rebuilt. Oh, I doubt it. From the way Dentro talked, no one knows enough about the ancient science to do the job. We were lucky to find it in working order and then be able to figure out how to operate it. I hate to think what we would have done without it. You know, in a way, maybe it's just as well it has been destroyed. Think of what would have happened if Marston or someone like him ever really got hold of it. Yeah, it'd be like he said. He and FEMA would rule the solar... Great blazing asteroids. What's the matter? What's wrong? I just thought of something that scares me. Slats, will you please tell me what you're talking about? FEMA. That's what I'm talking about. FEMA. Oh, what about FEMA? You know what she is, don't you? A Martian flying cobra. One of the deadliest things that ever lived. 
Her venom just has to touch your skin and you die instantly. I know all that. What about it? Sure you know all about it. We all know all about it. But I'll bet you Dan Troy isn't even thinking about it. He's down there chasing Marston through those dark tunnels, thinking things are pretty even with both of them holding ray guns. And I'll bet you he's never even given a thought to that femur. She can see in the dark, too. Yes, that's your right. We must warn Dan Troy somehow. Well, there's only one way to do it. It looks like I'm elected. Are you going after them? Yeah, there's no other way. Wish me luck. I do, Slats. Please be careful, but try to reach Dan Troy in time. <laughs> Marston! Marston, do you hear me? You might as well surrender. You can't run forever. Surrender? That's your answer. Marston will never surrender. Dantro and Marston are locked in deadly battle. Slats, the engineer, is trying to warn Dantro of FEMA, whose presence gives Marston the edge. We'll be back in a moment. So, level up. When we left Dantro, he was pursuing Marston through the treacherous underground tunnels. Marston has fired on Dantro but missed. Slats, in the meantime, has gone to warn Dantro of FEMA, the deadly Martian cobra who is with Marston. Dantro is unaware of FEMA's presence, and he stands vulnerable to attack in the tunnel. Dantro! Dantro! Where the dickens are they? I can't keep this place up much longer. I've just got to find them before it's too late. Dantro! Dantro, it's me, Slats! Only we had some way of knowing whether your trick worked, Professor Darrow. You say you deliberately drew Marston's fire, knowing that his ray would pass right through your image? Do you remember anything else then? No, Judge, it's just as I told you. The ray must have harmed the machine, for suddenly my whole picture of the room blocked out. This waiting is so difficult. I gave orders to the fleet to descend at once and send armed search parties into the tunnels. Until we get word from them, we have no way of knowing whether Marston or our friends have won out. I know how you feel, Judge. After all, Pat is my flesh and blood, and Slats is almost like a son. Well, at least the two youngsters are safe. They arrived at Planaria Rex just a few hours ago. <laughs> Just a little bit further, we'll have Planet Man where we want him, huh, Fever? A little bit further, if I remember, there should be a chasm in the floor. Let him think he has me cornered, and then we'll show him our little uh, trick. Won't we, Fever? Austin, I know you're just ahead of me. You might as well surrender. Ah, here's the edge of the chasm. Now, Fema, be ready. When I say go, see that you strike straight and true. Planet Man! You have me cornered. I cannot go any further. If you surrender now, I will see that you get a fair trial. How do I know I can trust you? You have to take that chance. Throw down your ray gun. If I do, will you throw yours down also? No tricks. I know when I am beaten, Planet Man, you can depend on my word. Very well. When I say three, you throw your weapon out on the floor of the tunnel where I can see it. Then I will do the same. Start counting, Planet Man. One, two, three. There it goes. And there is mine. Now, Fema, strike. Enzo, Enzo, Fema, look out! Oh, I, no! Marston! Marston, that was your last bit of treachery. I'm coming after you. Planet Man, you still live. Fema, you failed me. Look out, Master, the chasm! No, no, no! Slats certainly was a brave man to throw himself in the way of that flying cobra, Fema. We'll never forget his heroic deed. He's that kind of person, Judge Augustus. You know, when we picked him up, he, he smiled and said, That Fema... He must be stupid if he thinks his poison could kill me. Why, I'm so full of army snake serum from World War II that it would take Marston's bite to put me out of commission. He's resting comfortably, sir, and should be up and around very soon. He was delighted to know that Marston's dead because of his brave deed. Are you sure? 
We never did find the body. Well, no one could have survived that fall. No, I think we can forget Marston and his evil. We have more important things to discuss. That's right. The Council has promised to discuss the entrance of Earth into the League of Planets. Won't that be wonderful, Father? Can you imagine how they'll feel back home when they discover that for years the other planets have been inhabited, watching Earth and waiting for the first spaceship to be launched? Yes, Pat, it will be quite a surprise. I might even say a shock. That's why I agree with Judge Augustus that we must plan the whole thing carefully. If mistakes are made, it can create a great deal of trouble. You must remember that the Earth is still divided into many factions. If one side or the other sees an opportunity to use this as a means of getting the upper hand, the news of the existence of the League of Planets may bring on a great tragedy. Do you think we'll be allowed to go back with the first emissaries from Planaria Rex? It will be most essential that you do. Your father is an interplanetary figure, and his words will be listened to and believed. Um, isn't it time we attended the council meeting? Yes. Let's hurry along. Alone. Alone in the darkness. They think Marston is dead, but they've not heard the last of Marston. Here in this room are machines of the ancients they do not even dream exist. In time, I will learn how to use them. When I do, I will make the solar system pay for my suffering. One by one, the planets shall feel the weight of my anger. One by one. It will take time, but I can wait. Marston can wait. Marston still lives, alone. But even alone, his presence is dangerous. What can one person like Marston do? What are these machines of which he speaks? And what powers do they hold? We'll be back in a moment. But first, here is a message that the Planet Man wants you to hear. Tune in again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. <laughs> Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Troll, the Planet Man. The Planet, 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 Planet Man. Planet.